good, brother? I'm feeling good, man. Feeling real good, bro. How you living? I'm doing good, my brother. I can't complain, man. My man, it seems like August is like <laughs> battle rap media going. We're going for trenches now. Now we're coming over the king of the dot. And let me ask you, you've been here for a long time. You've been a lot of cards, right? Yeah. Where would you rank this in your career? How long have you been here, right? In top of, of, of people that's on this car. Hey, what? Well, think about this. You, the source, real sick, clips, chiller, Rex, Big K. Like, look, look at these names that I'm yeah. saying, bro. In your career, can you recall? Have you been on a bigger car than this? Man, good question. As far as the uh, amount of top names, right. uh, probably not because it's a two day event. You know what I mean? So right, that, right. that's what, that's what makes it a lot bigger, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if it was just a one day event. It would be tough to kind of to, to to compete with Max Out Three because that was I mean it was pretty crazy you know what I mean uh, uh, like Calico yeah. and Goods was like fourth on the you know on there it's like yo what you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and so um but yeah as far as like a two day event um yeah I mean and Massacre is always known for like you know the big big matchups you know usually I think it's just a one day event and maybe like the first day is like a uh, undercard type feel, but this is just, I mean, you got four or five matchups on, e on each day that are just back to back with it, man. It's crazy. This is WrestleMania right here, brother. This is summer. summer. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. as, a, as a competitor, how does it make you feel to be, be on a card with, with all the, the pairs that you have here? You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you got a relationship with guys, guys you battled, guys you might yeah. run down, down the road. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sharing the same shit. Yes, um, it's 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 dope, man. It's um that's what you want from a competitor standpoint, right? Because you know sometimes when you go to an event, you might realize, man, there's one or two guys on this event that might be able to outperform me. That you're not battling, you know what I mean? You might be like, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go in here and get crazy. People are gonna remember the A War performance. Well, this weekend got about twelve of them joints. You know what I mean? That it's like, hey. I can't go in here and have a forgotten performance. So that's a failure, whether I win my battle or not. You know, I got to go in here and people want to remember a ward got crazy. That's why I went, when it came to blackout and me and real sick, I went in there and did my numbers, you know, like real sick did his numbers. It was really came down to, you know, the, the nitty ill Mac battle, the J mad flex battle and me and real sick. Like those were the three fire battles, fire you know? Battles. And so the same thing going to happen this massacre weekend is that, you know, um, you know, hopefully the source is on his A game, but hopefully, you know, the performance I put on, you know, when you look at the top three battles of that crazy card weekend, you're going to say, yo, A Ward went crazy. Right. Let me ask you, is it obviously you're battling the service, right? And that's the focus, right? But is there a part of you guys that try to want to outdo each other also? Yeah, like as far as the community of battlers, the MVP of the of the of, of King of the, of, of our Massacre, is that a thing that goes? Yeah. Yeah, of course, man. I mean, that, that goes through my mind on, on every weekend, right? Like, wow. I just battled a nobody in Detroit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And went and went crazy. Three, you probably saw the clip, right? Like, you probably saw... Yeah. Okay, why, well, three, why did you see the clip? Because it got 7,500,000 views on Twitter, you know? Like, I'm trying to make people remember what I did that weekend, regardless of who's in front of me. And we got trenches going on, and we got, you know, some other events going on. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. So I'm competing every day, like, with, with, with battle rap to, like, hey, you know, like, how can I, how can I, uh, how can I put, a, put together a crazy performance to where, you know, uh, that's what's being talked about? How did we get here with you at the service? Was that a no brainer? Was that a conversation, an easy conversation? How did, how did it go? Break it down to me. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> he's definitely somebody that I, I always put on a list, you know, when I say like guys that I want to battle, you know, um, he's a legend, man. He's a he's a Mount Rushmore candidate. He's a first he's the Hall of Fame. first battle Hall of Fame. Yeah, first battle. I was saying, you know, he's great. He's, he's the grandfather of an era of battle rap stylistically. Jam, jam and all that shit. He you know, um. You know, I, I consider myself to be the best freestyler in battle rap currently. You know what I mean? And he's the guy that he's the guy that, you know, has the hardware to say that he's the champion of freestyle battle rap at, at some time. You know what I mean? So like bucket list type battle, uh, you know, remember watching him on jump off, you know, and two on twos and different things like that, you know, um, then, you know, in Massacre, uh, you know, um, this is a, a great, it's my first time ever being on Massacre. It's a sixth one. I've, I've ne yep. I've never been able to battle on Massacre before. Um, and then, you know, I don't know, storyline. 
All time, right? Shit. Man, you're telling me, bro. You're telling me. I don't I don't call people out for ducking often, but I've been ducked on massacre a handful of times. And like, you know, like, but <clears throat> um shout out to Chilla Jones, shout out to Takeover Battle League for make, making this battle happen. Um but yeah, you know, I, there's not like a crazy storyline, but you know, there's been back and forth at times, you know, like I, he knows, I, you know, I, I saw him sitting there, you know, getting the crowd to chant 2-0 while Ilmac was going crazy battling me, you know, and I had a little rebuttal in the third round where I, where I hit the source with a little stray, you know, um, so you know, there's there's been some of that. There's the camaraderies there. You know, we've been at a lot of events since the beginning of my career. You know what I mean? We've been together a lot of times. I was there when he battled Sora or Saga, you know, stuff like that. Like like uh Pete's a good dude, man. Yep, yep, yeah. And and Pete's Pete's a good dude, man. He's a competitor. Um, you know, I you are not gonna get a lot from me on some like, you know, going talking crazy about him on Twitter, none of that kind of stuff. Like you're not gonna get that really. Um but what I gotta go is I gotta go in there and 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 I gotta perform in a way that's like yo, like you are you. Um, but but what I do now is just better than what you do now. You know what I mean? And that's no diss to his 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 talent level. But I just gotta go in there and say because you know he was snubbed last year. Like let you know he felt like he should have been on that top tier twenty Cody list. And you're looking at somebody who's made it every year. You know what I mean? So if I'm making it every year and 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 he has a career year and gets snubbed, I gotta show. Right. Hey, you know, the way I'm performing in battle rap right now is a, 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 a bit ahead of what you're doing. So um, I'm, I'm excited to go do that. And I hope he, I hope he puts on crazy, too. Is it a thing where it's a respect factor? Like you're saying, basically, it's a respect factor, of course. Right. But I still got to handle my business and do what I got to do. And, and, and I got to understand assignment. You're a legend. I respect you and all that. You've been here over. He's been over 20 years battling. Yo, three. The best way to respect a legend is to let him know that battle rap will be in good hands after you put him down. That's just how you respect the legend. You know, like that's the best way I could do it is I could just say like to source, check this out. I love you. You built this, you, you put together a foundation of something that I'm able to come and make a career off of, put money in my pocket for food in my family's mouth. Let me see this torch real quick. You know what I mean? And, and here you go. You know that's the best way to respect the legend, bro. Is 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 to let them is to let them know after you're done performing. They say, "All right, you know what? Battle reps in good hands." And that's what I'm always trying to do. Wow, brother. Let me just look at this right quick. Your resume this year is cool. My man, Gwitty, Hundred Bullets, St. James, Two on Two with Mac and QP, Bonnie, Bangs, Rock, Gage, Cali Smooth, um, DGADA. Another two on two with the and foots. Like, how are you a machine like this, brother? <laughs> I, don't I mean, that shit. you know, when you look at those names, man, what I look at is I look at a lot of a lot of talent, and I also look at like I do every year, bro. I look at Bonnie on Queen of the Ring. I look at Bullets in Canada. I look at Bangs in Connecticut. I look at Gage in Chicago. I look at Cali in Cali. I look at, you know, DG the Piranha in South Carolina. I look at, you know, Story St. James in Buffalo. Like, bro, every battle that I've done almost this year, and I've done 12, and we what? We're not even eight months in. So you're looking at one and a half battles a month. You know, like every battle I've done this year, I've been on the road. I've been in somebody else's hometown, not like, not even like really neutral site. You know what I mean? Right. So Flair, Soul, and Foots. Guess where we battled them? Yeah. Clean and Mac. Guess yeah. where we battled them? Like, bro, oh, I like I got one home game. That I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What? I can't hear you. Two, three. It should come back. It came yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. You know, Mama was calling. Mama, mama, I think my mama just yeah. knows when I'm doing an interview, and so she was calling. So yeah. Right, 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 um. Right. But yeah, yo, like out of those twelve battles, bro, one has been in Kansas City, Gwitty, and then I think all eleven other ones have been in the hometown of my opponents. You know, so when you look at it, you might be like, "Excuse me, uh, pardon me." Tay Rock was a neutral site, you know, the big battle Tay Rock neutral site. But like when you look at it, like that's the strength of schedule for me. It's like, yo, I'm going, I'm going into everybody's house, and I'm, I'm putting on, you know. And so, uh, like I said, I got, I think I got five right now. Locked in for the next two and a half months, and then I'm trying to figure out. Excuse me. The other I got count well, so the source, and then I got four more locked in. I got another uh another Mount Rushmore candidate locked in. Yeah. I um. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got uh and then I got um 
man, I got a great opportunity to work with a company that doesn't do a whole lot with battle rap. You know, that is really, really big outside of battle rap coming up that should be announced here in the next, you know, next month. Okay. Um, and it's for, it's for a battle. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, I, I got a lot of stuff working and in November, December right now is when I'm really just shopping out to whatever leagues, you know, you know how it comes with Cody, like November, December, some battlers want to get them, them battles in so they can get that last push or whatever it is, you know? So I'm trying to tell Av, I'm trying to tell, you know, uh, I'm trying to tell Av, trying to tell Fonz, all of these dudes come outside, man. Come outside. I like you with Av a lot, bro. Yep. A whole lot. That's, that sounds like a dog fight. That's yep. like, you a Fonz too. Yep. You a Fonz be crazy, fam. Yep. Like stuff like that, man. So, I mean, let me ask, let's go back to the rock battle right quick. What's the, what's the, what's the reception that you got over the rock battle since it's been dropped, released, and everything? I haven't talked to you since it's been going on YouTube. Yeah, no, it's been crazy, man. Like, that battle's, um, one, um, that night, uh, I kind of got the feel that people really enjoyed the battle, but once it dropped, like, I think it was like it was you know on camera like people really really enjoyed the battle you know mm -hmm. I think it's almost pushing seven hundred thousand views like and it's only been like you know a couple months you know um so you know and then there's just a lot of moments in that battle that he threw rock at me in the daylight you know staring at Tay Rock you know like it's got that it's got the written it's got rock going crazy it's got me going crazy um you know it was it was his birthday you know like it was just a big party it was on a riot you know one of the things i find always dope is when you're battling when you go look at verb or, or nitty or the rock battle or vixen and the stage is like basically just packed with like legendary battlers and you go back and you watching their facial expressions and they're enjoying themselves you know what i mean like we like to enjoy we like to entertain the fans but like when i'm battling if i go back and look and i'm like yo arsenal john john geechee all these dudes are having a blast watching this battle you know and like that's what i like to do too so man it's been a great reception bro like i've traveled so much since the rock battle and rock is definitely definitely like leaps and bounds above any other reference battle of my career when people stop and take pictures and everything like when I tell you, like, Rock is that dude, like, um, you know, I was just in St. Lucia. I got stopped, like, three times in St. Lucia in the wow. British Virgin Islands. Yes. Like, yo, I watched your Rock battle. I'm watching Rock, you know. Like, when I get stopped in the airport, most of the time, like, well, since the Rock battle, it's always been your Rock battle, your Rock battle, your Rock battle, you know. Wow. Before that, for, like, a year, it was the Vixen battle because, you know, the the, the a lot of stuff, you know. Oh, the the battle, man. There's too many moments in that battle. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you know, um, but yeah, it's, that's been really, really dope, man. Been really dope, man. Shout out to Rock. He's on a, a crazy run right now, taking every opponent, you know, going crazy. But yeah, it's been it's been a blast, man. Well, I see somebody on Twitter hit you, but hit you with the um, are you finally gonna be the white guy? What do you feel about that comment? <laughs> man, you know how it is, bro. <laughs> Man, uh, uh, I hope, shoot, you know, I just, I, I, I go and just battle, bro. I go and battle, you know, styles make fights or whatever, you know, whether you think my style is, is, is effective. I think I beat Sharon. I think I beat Mad Flex. I think I beat Carter Deems. I think I beat, you know, Poe Rich. I think I beat, you know, a lot of guys, you know, so it's like, we know, we know where that whole narrative really got juice, you know, like we know who, who, who created that narrative or where it got some juice from, you know what I mean? So I don't really, I don't really subscribe to it. Is there a battle on the card you're looking forward to? Besides yours, of course. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of them I'm looking forward to. Uh, pass and twerk. I definitely want to see that. Mm. Um, what else? Um, I got to try to caught some steam, though, man. That caught some steam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's, um, I think it has the possibility of being a really good battle. Um, they're both they both have some good battle rap, battle rap IQ, you know what I mean? And they they, they both do a good job. Who do you like? Um, man, to be honest with you, I think John John's gonna win it pretty clearly. Yeah, I think he is. I don't foresee it being um a battle of the night, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's gonna be um, and I say that because man, frack is excellent. Actually, I should be I, I'm kind of tripping a little bit. I don't want to disservice frack. Frack is excellent. However, and it's like what I said to Frack is like the times I've seen Frack be right, like out, out, like outstanding ha has been in California. You know, it's been in the Bay. It's been, in, you know, on, on town business. It's been in those types of environments. Right. Um, 
And John John, you know, he's able to go around and, and command the crowd and rap with some aggression to where it don't matter where he's at, you know? Um, also, like, Frack was calling him out, like, what, three, four, five years ago? Yeah. Like, right. sometimes, sometimes battles, like, they can happen a little too late. You know what I mean? It's like, I kind of wanted to see that joint a couple years ago. You know what I mean? So I, I'm excited to I'm excited to see who wins the battle. Um, at the end of the day, Frack don't lose, so it's hard to pick against him. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. lose, and but, and yeah. I know John John's on Twitter right now. I, I think he's doing a lot of like you know just trying to like I don't know if he's trying to make himself the underdog to kind of you know you know how battlers get or whatever you know. But being the you, underdog, you, you guys got to do that the, the underdog mentality. Do you guys like that underdog mentality? Do you enjoy? Some guys see they like that. Some guys like don't don't try me with that. Where, where do you start? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't pay too much attention to it, man. I mean, personally, like, if it's not like a, I mean, most of the time when I battle like a local guy, it's like, you know, obviously I'm not, I'm, I'm not the underdog, but if it's just a matchup, like, I'm just like, yo, let's just go in here and rap, you know, like, when I battled Verb, I don't know who the underdog was. Like, I, I felt like I was clearly better than him, you know, but I don't know if the world would have done that because it's a Verb, you know, or when mm -hmm. I vote, you know, so it's not like, <clears throat> it's not like the. An underdog role. I say this much though, like if your opponent starts pissing you off, that'll help you. You know, like if 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 you know if you go on Twitter and start talking crazy, like right. you know, when I battled Vixen, she was like talking kind of crazy in the face off, you know? Like, and I'm like, all right, you know, so um, but yeah, so I don't know what John John's trying to do with all of the back and forth about you know him feeling a certain way about people having frack winning, but at the end of the day, bro, frack don't lose. You know what I mean? He 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 performs. He dissects. He breaks you down. He raps well. He's witty. He's unique. And there ain't nothing. You know, there's nothing to be ashamed of if you feel like you know Frack beat you. Like it's not like, hey, I'm John John. He's Frack. I sh I should automatically. No, nah, that's not how this works. Right. Styles make fights, bro. If your legacy made you the favorite in in battle rap, then the Dallas Cowboys and Green Bay Panthers would never be the underdog. You know what I mean? Like I like that analogy. I like that analogy. <laughs> okay. Guess what? This is a new year. You know my. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Are you are you a John John? I just thought about that. Does that make sense though? You a John John? John John don't want that, bro. John John does not want John that. Don't, you want, don't do that. What you mean, John John? Yo, John John. Yo, John John. It's a rejuvenated John John right now, Ward. Who? Who? John John? I think. I think. After, I think since the easy battle, he's found a new life, so to speak, and he's he's been very consistent. You know what I mean? And he's been wanting. There's battles. a difference between being consistent and being great. Oh, like, here we go, here we go. Uh, okay, three, okay, three, yeah. okay, three. Give me some stuff that he said since the easy battle that has just been like that. You were like, yo, I remember this bar. This is crazy. I'll give you one that I really liked. All right, the yeah. duck fights, the duck fights bar against Calico. I really liked that we knew you fought chickens. We didn't know you duck fight. You know what I mean? But, but like. Series Jones. He's battled Series Jones. Yeah, a lot of dope material against Series Jones. I didn't like Harley. Did you just hear what that? I just, I just started watching it. That man said, "You think you're the wolf on top of the mountain? How? How? You didn't like a stir Ronald at all? You trying to tell me you like a stir Ronald? I thought a stir Ronald was fire." Um, actually, let me be honest. I don't think I got to the third round. No, I did get to the third round. I watched the whole battle because I saw them dap each other up. Um, I don't think there was very much memorable. You know, I think what it was is like, and, and he's a professional. He came in there with three solid rounds on three days notice. You know what I mean? And we look at that. We look at that in Battle Rebel. General Buck in there line that he had, and General Buck in there, how General, if, if Joe was, had, if, if Joe, they like the culture, he didn't have to put no bucks in here like that. How you flip that a little bit? I thought that was, I thought that was fire. Yeah, that was, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> Yo, Lord, you gotta chill out. You gotta chill out. You gotta chill out. Well, don't do that. Don't hey, that ain't that ain't that ain't hey that ain't better than uh, you've been relying on a big Gerald your entire career. You want to smoke with John John, sir? It seemed like you want to smoke with John John. Nah, he was just talking crazy on Twitter. He was talking crazy on Twitter. That's the reason I'm on this type of time right now because he was just tweeting. Just because Frag beat the shit out of you don't mean I'm you. Da -da 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 -da. So he was all like crazy on Twitter. So it was like you know, like that's why I was like, okay, he can get that. He can get a little bit of this energy right now. Yeah, but um, I like you with John John. I like that guy. Yeah. Now, John John is a professional man. He's consistent. He always comes in. He gets crazy. You know what I mean? And um, when I say gets crazy, like he performs, he does his job. You know what I mean? I might not think that, you know, John John's the best writer, the best performer, whatever, but he, he's the best at not losing. 
He's got a high battle IQ, and he's one of the best at not losing. And he's going against Frack, who's also one of the best at not losing. So it's going to be more than likely a debatable battle. <laughs> Can you beat John Doe? Mm-hmm. You say, are you saying that with your chest out? I could be, I could be John John on, I could be John John on bullpen. Whoop your award. That's what we, that's how you go. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's how I feel. And whoop at his crib. Three. What does John John do better than me? John John's a tactic. He angles. He, he's a dope angler. A great angler. Okay. Okay. Very witty. Both these brothers are very witty, man. Both you. He's not even right. close to as witty as me, but yeah, wow. he's he probably. He probably, he probably, I don't angle a whole lot. I angle punch. I don't like stick on, you know. John John, John, John is, a, is phenomenal with angles. Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. So so I'm not mad at that. But like performance, writing, punching, uh, rebuttals, the intangibles, not nah. like projection, <laughs> delivery, all that. Like, no. Somebody book John John A Ward, please. Like, p -p 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 please. But I've been telling everybody all year the only way to win Cody is to battle me. So, T Top, John John, if y'all think Av, if y'all think y'all gonna give Tay Rock a run for their money, or next year to last year of Cody, if y'all think y'all gonna holler at me, because it's the only way you can win Cody. I gotta be honest, y'all. What he's saying, I, I can only say I had A or B to Tay Rock, respectfully. I did. You know what I'm saying? I stand on that. You know what I mean? During the pay per view, after the pay per view, I still had A or win the battle and shit like that. So, yeah. T Top, Av, yeah, I would damn. Wow. Those guys, they, I mean, if you're in the Cody run, man, you know, like, I'm the gatekeeper. <laughs> He's not the gatekeeper of the Cody. Run. Oh, hey, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. That's me, man. I ain't never gonna, I ain't never gonna win that belt, man. But hey, I'm gonna be up there in a the conversation. <laughs> uh, would you battle any, any of the, the young guys that's gonna come up? Would you battle any of the young guys? Give, give them a look. Oh yeah, most definitely, bro. I think it would be fire. I think a lot of these guys would be very, very fire to battle. Um, I like the kid King that just got crazy super that. fire. That's the name I was gonna um, go I, I like King. Um, I like Eunice a lot. You know, I think Eunice is super fire. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you and I talked off camera a little bit. I think the Dollar Bill Cat is real unique. You know what I mean? Um, when I'm listening to him, not to be a hater, his pen like is it ain't there for me yet. But like his style and everything is very unique. You know, so it's a refreshing type of battle. Right. Um. So yeah, <laughs> I think those dudes are those dudes are all fire. Um. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else like on the come up really that I've like paid too much attention to. This like, yo, he's nice. Um. Uh, that, I don't know. If, are you familiar with Tex? He's on a I didn't watch. It was him and Riggs, right? I didn't watch. I didn't get to watch it, but it, I knew. I knew. I knew of them. Um. The Riddick kid. The Riddick kid. I think was. Uh, I seen clips of him. Yeah, he's nice. I'm gonna tell you what, my mama will always put me up on to the new people, man. My mama, like, she don't watch none of them top tiers. She watches the, the bricks and the, and the, yeah. She watches the. I don't know what they're called on the trenches, the the, the pockets or whatever they are. They on the coat. They on the trench. What are they called? The um the the young the young. <laughs> but yeah, she watches all of them. Are we gonna see on Chrome with trenches back? Are we gonna, are we gonna see back on that? On the, um... I'm not sure. You know, uh, Remy had hit me up. About a month or a month or a month and a half ago, you know, um, with some opportunities, um, and uh, you know, I just told her keep me posted. You know, she got busy, she went out the country, she came back. You know, shout out to her, she's doing her, you know, third thing. Like every time I look up, she performing at somewhere, doing something. I mean, and that's just, I mean, let's be honest, like that's what she should be doing. You know what I mean? So, um, I think I've been a professional and I've done, you know, great business over there. So, you know, if time comes and she sees something that makes sense, you know, like I'm gonna be here for it, but. I think one of the dope things about me and my the way I operate is like I don't know if you saw like a couple weeks ago I put like a, a poll on Twitter I was like which one's my home league king of the dot riot or bullpen right and it was all like thirty percent thirty percent thirty percent and right. it's like bro like at the end of the day like if one year I'm not on one league it's not it don't kill me because right. you know I'm not I probably won't be on RBE this year I don't know what they got going on you know. And it'll be a whole year without RBE, but I still have been on a riot and I have been over here on King of the Dot. And then next year it might be that I'm on Chrome and it might be that I'm on this one, you know, and last year it might be that I was never on, you know. So this is one thing I think I do a good enough business and I stay relevant to always be able to get good looks from the bigger leagues. Ward, would you do a full circle on RBE? Or you just, or you, or you only on Max? Man, <laughs> I was almost locked in with King Los on full circle. Uh, wow. Yeah. I know about that. Okay, okay, I know about that. Yeah, I was almost locked in with King Los on a full circle. 
um, which I thought would have been really, really crazy. Um, this was before uh, before he ended up on camera, you know, with Diddy. And Ooh, so, you know, oh of course, when I saw that happen, I was like, man, I I could have been working on the greatest battle rap angle of the year right now, you know. Um, so, uh, you know, me and me and King Lowe's had a back and forth, you know, on uh, on Angry Fan, you know, we kind of went back. So there was there was some talk of doing that battle and he was down for it. You know what I mean? So, you know, we almost had that had that work out. I don't know if it's it'll never happen or what. I don't know if now if he wants to be back, back over here in battle rap or he wants to let some stuff die down. I mean, shout out to him. I don't mean to be funny and make jokes about him like that because he's an incredible writer and rapper and battling him in a full circle would be very, very difficult. And that's why I thought, yo, that's a fire look because him in a full circle where it's just rapping is, right. is, is not going to be easy. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely love to do one in the future. You know what I mean? Um, and so, you know, if it makes sense that we can, we can figure something out. Uh, but yeah, I think that'd be dope. All right. My brother, man, listen, man, I can't wait for the, um, August 23rd, 24th, big King of the Night weekend, man. Looking forward to seeing the Thesaurus. What last question is, what does a win or this battle do for you or, or for you? Is it a resume thing? Is it like bucket list you were saying earlier, right? It's bucket list, but I'm a, if I'm keeping it a buck with you, like, you know, <clears throat> clear wins, like, I, I feel like I got Tay Rock, but I wouldn't, I don't think people calling that a clear win. You know what I mean? Like, every year you need a couple clear wins, you know, on your resume. So that it, you know, it, depending on who's looking at your resume. Right. So I think, I think that a clear win by, from the source is, is, is important when people look at my resume, you know, uh, and I, and I got a few more battles the rest of this year that I think clear wins are important. You know, uh, will I be upset if I have a insane debatable with the source? Absolutely not. You know, um, at the end of the day, he's got a, a, a great fan base as he should. And I want his fan base to want to watch his battle just as much as I want my fan base to want to watch mine. But, uh, yeah, I want to go in here and I want to get this, I want to get this W clearly. Cause when I watch him and Mike P back, I didn't have that as a clear win for Mike P or the source. I thought it was a close battle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they were both really, really good. Um, but I want to go in there and I want to, I want to, you know, I want to put, put these hands on him, man. And you know, so, you know, like I said, man, you could quote whatever I said earlier, what I, I don't know what I said about, you know, the best way you can respect the legend. That's a quote, actually. Somebody yeah. needs to like, somebody <laughs> needs to meme that. that. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the plan, man. That's the plan. All right. My well, brother, I appreciate you. We're going to talk after the battle, though, man. You already know three. Love you, man. Take care. Stop letting people cuss you out in spaces, man. Stop it, bro. I, I don't it. You, heard, you hear our back and forth? I, I had like 30 seconds of it and I turned it off. I was like, I, I'm done with this. When you have a chance, go back and listen. All right. I'm going to go listen to it. All right. Hey. We ain't here today, man. We ain't here. <laughs> oh, Love, wait, bro. Wait, before you go. Yeah. Oh, cheap. All right. I'm going to repeat right quick. Oh yeah, they put Patrick Mahomes as fourth on the on the top one hundred. Oh, we 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 repeating, bro. You sure about that? The, the three people they put in front of him: Christian McCaffrey, Tyreek Hill, Lamar. We beat all the three of them in the playoffs. Yeah, I, I have the Ravens. Dolphins yeah. first round, Lamar. Third, you know, yeah. So now, I, I mean, it's very difficult to three peak. You know what I mean? Like obviously, you know, it's not something. So, um, but I think we upgraded at the wide receiver position. You know, um, and I think that. Uh, you know, our defense for the most part stayed intact. Right. And, you know, like at the end of the day, it's like it's a situation where it's like, you know, we're going to make it to the playoffs. Mm. Right. Like, so, that's a, that's a given. so who wants to see Mahomes in the playoffs? Not very many people. Like, we're not like, you, you know, like last year, we kind of limped into the playoffs. Like, we had a home game, but we had to go on a road yes. to beat Buffalo, on a road to beat the Ravens. Facts, facts, facts. That was impressive. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, that yeah, and that, that people was like, "Let's see him win on the road," you know, because he got all, you know, he got the two Super Bowls with home. Boom, did it, you know. So it's like we don't really got much more to prove. Our division is kind of trash, so I don't foresee us trash, going in. Boy. It is trash. Come on, brother. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's terrible. The Raiders, the Broncos, and the Chargers. Like, it's terrible. I don't. Yeah. Do I don't, I, I, listen, I, I think Jim Harbaugh is gonna, is gonna make that uh, the Chargers. Be a little bit more service when moving forward, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah, me too. Me too. It's still a um, I would love to see y'all though. I would love to see y'all in the AFC championship, man. I would love to. You know, Mahomes and, and Rodgers ain't never played against each other. They've never played. The oh, first yeah. time I think Mahomes was hurt, and the second time Rodgers got hurt. So, like back in Green Bay, Mahomes get, got hurt, and then uh for the Jets, obviously last year, Rodgers got hurt. So they never had a head to head. So um yeah, it's gonna be exciting, man. Our coach is on the head is on the hot seat, man. That's that's just gonna be Oh, it's gotta be, yeah. You gotta be because if we don't get to the playoffs, bro. If, if 
injury. That's just the thing with 39 year old quarterback, man. I'm scared about that. But hey, we'll see. You know what I mean? You already know. I'm the same way. I don't think uh I don't think the Dolphins are gonna be much better than they were last year. Right, hey, and then hey, I'm, hey, I'm glad the Dolphins signed to it. Congratulations, thank Not you. And then the, yes. the Patriots are garbage. Like they're gonna be garbage. And I, I, then waiting for years, whole decades to say that. I, 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 I can yeah. find. <laughs> yeah, I really like Gerard Mayo, their coach. I really hope that he he can. You know, I I, I like him, but they're they're garbage. Um, and then the Bills, you know, they they got the worst, probably the top three worst receiving crew in the NFL. Like. <laughs> Like they done lost a lot of uh, you know yeah, the, 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 the yep. Josh is fine. Josh is fine. <laughs> they do. They be all right. So, as always, brother. Yes, sir. I'll holler at you, my guy. You're ready, man. Shout out to 